like a little country joined onto England. A bit like Canada, but smaller. Just going for a flying weekend with three guys, Jake the American, Nigel who I haven't met and Alex who I haven't met. I've got a barbecue and a load of meat and a paramotor and some beers. Let's do it. Hi, boss. Nigel Paul. Paul. You right? You invited us, yeah? That's right. Oh, well, thanks for the invite. Up here in Wales, got here almost dark. Uh, planning to get up early tomorrow morning, have a quick fly here, and then uh, clear off to the beach. So, first beach flying for me, hopefully tomorrow. Under 18, it was nothing but trouble. But this one, oh, she doesn't have to. Well, it's a lovely spot, a little bit hungover. Cloud base is about 200 foot, Jake says. He's been up this morning at like six o'clock or something. Maybe have a quick flight here in a bit. Uh, but then we're off to the beach, my first beach flying. So looking forward to that. Weather's supposed to be better over there. It's about an hour away. Oh, breakfast. The shell still. No. <laughs> no. No. Egg. I'll come camping with you again. Shitty take off, swinging from side to side, stayed with it. Ended up at about 45 degrees to my run. Straight over Jake, sucked his wing into my prop. Uh, came back round to land straight away and uh, dropped my wing in a tree. Not the best start. There are spare wings around and obviously I'll give him mine for the whole weekend. But he seems to want to repair his with duct tape. What are you doing, Jake? Minor repair job. Some asshole chopped your wing up. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't on purpose though. That's the reason he's still able to talk. <laughs>
perfect. Uh, duct tape repair done. Feel like an ass. Done. Uh, we're all loaded up here. Off to the beach. Well, an hour's drive. We're here at the beach. So this will be my first beach flying, I think. This is what laminar air feels like. It's going to be super. Okay, first ever beach attempted takeoff. A little nervous. I think that accident this morning has ruined my mojo just a little bit. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Get her up there. Have a look. Come on. Oh, no. Okay, so nervous. Wow, yeah, it's smooth. These guys have got similar wings. You watching me? Here we go. This is a, a lovely, lovely smooth flight. Sand dunes. I haven't been in sand dunes since I was a kid. I want to take my kids to a beach so they can have adventures in sand dunes. Well, Nigel, if you're watching this, thanks for the invite, mate, because right now, this is making up for this morning where I ballsed up royally. So, I should explain that. Uh, I pulled the wing up, uh, my right hand A came out of my hand, slipped out my fingers uh, too early. And I, it, the wing was oscillating left to right and I just, I should have aborted. Loads of launches I've been through like that where I should have aborted and again I should have but didn't. And it was just oscillating, I changed direction and I'm still thinking yeah I got this, I got this. Then I find I'm heading straight towards Jake on the ground. So I'm desperately trying to add a bit of brake to get over him, but I just swung low at one point, right over his wing, picked up the leading edge and chopped it. He dived to the ground. I think he knocked his motor over. Uh, and I turned round and I was just, I was panicked. I didn't know what I'd done, what I'd hit. So I thought, right, I'm gonna land straight away. I almost came in for a downwind landing for some reason. I don't know what I was thinking. I just turned straight round to get back down. And then I thought, oh Jesus, no, go over the trees, turn around, come back. And then, just in my panic, I just wanted to get on the ground as quick as possible. My descent through those trees was just stupid. I felt my lines catch on the left side. Uh, I was almost on the ground. I just, I did not care. I just wanted to get out of my, out of my harness and go and see what I'd done to Jake. I didn't know if I'd hit him or his motor. Uh, and then, um, yeah, the wing was in the tree. We got that out. With Jake being the action man that he is, just climbed up the tree and cut a branch off so he could get the wing out. Everything was fine, nobody was hurt, um, just holes in his wing. So I'm going to get that repaired for him. He's off. He's working abroad for six months, I think, so I've got plenty of time to save up a payment to the loft. Water crossing. Let's not have an engine out over here. I have to wait a long time for the tide to go out or walk back. Oh, I get so nervous, but it's so nice being up here. 
Yeah, so he doesn't need the wing for the next six months. He's going to be grounded anyway, so I'll get that fixed and get it back to him. Just a pain in the ass, an expensive little mistake which could have been totally avoided if I'd have just aborted the launch and reset. Always abort and reset. If it's not bang on, it's just not worth it. I feel like I'm in a Tucker Got video. appreciated. Oh, f engine out. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Jesus. Engine out. Let's try and restart. Got a lot of space. Okay, that'll do. Perfect. Let's go past the water, preferably. engine out all that flying over those sandbars and I have an engine out just close enough to land I
222. They look like Nigel caught a bit of rotor coming up then. That sock is telling funny stories today. Kinda don't want to fly. I'm nervous after yesterday's cock up. Little rotor coming over the trees at the moment. Okay. The valleys. Well, some valleys anyway. Someone asked last night, like a non paramotorist visited us. We all sat around a campfire drinking Jaeger and Stella. It wasn't good. Well, it was good, but it's not good now. Um, and that, that person said, well, What do you get out of it? What's so good? And I kind of think that it's, well, for me anyway sort of nervous before the takeoff, you know, nervous if you know you're going to go flying, nervous before you've loaded your van. And um, sort of getting over that and, you know, conquering it, getting in the sky, that's kind of it for me, do you know what I mean? I, I get nervous before I go flying. I was hellish nervous before that launch just then. But it all went okay, and up in the sky, and then you feel good, I think, because you felt so nervous beforehand. Well, I do, anyway. Woo! There's the Nige. He knows where we're going. We're going to his friend's house for breakfast, apparently. And down there on the ground, just about to launch, is Alex. Alex, the South African. Jake, the American. Nigel, the Welshman. And me, the Englishman. And I think I did go to bed first. Yeah, these winds are funny. It's certainly pretty up here. The field looks almost flat from up here. <laughs> Look at that duct tape on his wing. What a cock up that was. These things happen, no one got hurt, but God did I feel shit for the day. It looks like Alex is getting ready. Here he goes. And we're off, right, I don't want to lose sight of anybody. I've got my nav on, I can get back to base if I need to. I pulled my trims back down below neutral for that takeoff. And uh, it still needed a lot more brake than I'm used to. But we did get off the ground. Uh, and it seems my engine out was down to a loose spark plug boot. And uh, Jake has modified that with some duct tape. The duct tape's pretty much saved the weekend. Not looking for a sponsorship deal, but I'll take it if it's there. It's getting a bit bumpy. Whoa! Right under a cloud. That wasn't nice. It came off the throttle and started going up. That's the thermal. I saw Nigel go up. Just after I said last week I wouldn't fly in the day. Ugh. It's beautiful, but it's bumpy. Landed 
signs. Oh, there's a bumpy spot here. I think that was downwind. Found. Yeah, I think that was the downwind land. Okay, well you froze. <laughs> well given this sky behind us, Nigel's gone back, got a lift back to uh, pick up his trailer and that we're gonna we're gonna just drive back, which I think is a sensible decision. I don't think it's it would be unsafe, it would just be a horrible flight, it would be into wind. And uh, yeah, these clouds are properly developed. Yeah, and this is what I came over to do in here. So what we're going to end up doing is this. We're going to wrap it. Uh -huh. And we're going to wrap it with the exhaust wrap. I'm trying to do this so I don't have to lift the fucking thing up. to them to sort of invite me to be part of their gang for the weekend. A weekend of firsts. First time I've chopped someone's wing up with my propeller. First time I've seen somebody repair their wing with duct tape. First beach flight, first downwind landing. Second time I put my wing in a tree. But no one got hurt and it was all awesome. Some funny time sat around a campfire beautiful scenery. I will be back. Right, I'm off to find a McDonald's. See you next time. Boom!